if you ever wanted to set up a WordPress blog on Amazon Web Services using a template, here's how. All right, so you can use a free account with the free hosting. And the first thing you see after you register is the welcome screen on the registration confirmation page. And right here it says, hey, you want to build a website? So go into that section. OK, and this is about starting your website. And there's a few different options, but if you scroll down, you can see websites and content management systems. And it has these cloud formation templates. Now, you can decide to use a single instance that has your web service and your database on the same box. But if you want to be more scalable, you might as well use the second option, which is you have an instance with the web services on it to host the PHP and then the other instance will be it'll connect to another instance of a database using RDS so go ahead and launch that option okay and right here you can see it uses a template so before we go into using the template there's this little cube up here you want to go into that to go into the console home and EC2 instances is where you want to go Okay, and you'll notice we don't have a key pair created. To be able to use the template, you need a key pair. So I'm going to click that, and we're going to create a key pair. So we'll click that. You have to give it a name. We'll say demo. Hit the create button. Okay, and immediately it wants to download the demo certificate in the PIM format. So we're going to save that. Okay, so we're going to save our demo PIM certificate in a folder for later. Okay, and now we're done creating the key pair and we go back to creating our stack from a template. All right, we can use the default name or WordPress sample scalable. It'll automatically default with the WordPress template. We'll just say next. Here you can specify a database password. We'll do apple123 and you need a database user in there. So purple five six seven all right and then there's no validation you might see an error if you don't specify this for the key name select the demo key pair that we created earlier just hit next okay and it has some optional things you can just skip that go to next and here's the confirmation page so you can review what you've entered and the two things that I entered for database password and database user are blanked out. That's fine. We scroll down and we create by hitting the create button and it will create this template. All right, now it's creating the stack. You can't really see it looks like what happened, but really there's this reload button up here. If I reload, I should see that it is creating the instance. So it's creating an EC2 instance and it's creating the RDS database. And this runs for a while, so I'm going to pause it here. Now the template is create complete. It's done its work. Now we can see our EC2 instance. So let's look at the EC2 dashboard. You'll see that you have a running instance. There we go. So creating the template automatically started the EC2 instance. And if we look at the main console here and go into the RDS, Starting the template has also created an instance. There we go. I have a database. There we go. All right, so now if we click on the EC2 instance here, you'll see it has a public IP. So now we can take this public IP and put it in the URL here. OK. So we're not connecting to it yet because you'll see that this instance belongs to the WordPress sample security group. So if we go into the security groups, okay, WordPress sample security groups, you'll see the inbound traffic. It does have HTTP specified, but it's only allowed to come from a certain source. So we're going to right click on this, we're going to say 
edit inbound rules. You want to change the custom IP so that anybody can browse on the HTTP port. And now, if I browse the port, now we're getting a response back from the EC2 instance. Okay, but it's the test page. You want to see WordPress. So WordPress actually installs with this template to a subdirectory on WordPress. Now I want to move this actually down so that I can see the WordPress site here without actually having WordPress in the URL. So we're going to need to putty in to this instance. So let's go through some stuff. Now when I had created the key pairs, we downloaded this demo certificate in the PEM format, and we're going to need to run this putty gen. Here we go. So we can convert the key to something that putty can use. So first we need to load the key. Okay, it's not showing up because we have to switch to all files. And there's our demo certificate. Go ahead and open that. Okay. Now we're going to save the private key without a passphrase so we don't have to type it in. Here we go. This will be our demo PPK. And save that. Great. Okay. We're done with the putty gen key generator. And now we can run putty. Okay, so here's putty. Now we had browsed this public IP. We're going to need that. and Use that for the host name. Now before we can go there, we also need to go to the SSH settings. Okay, go to authentication and browse to the PPK certificate. So now that we've loaded the certificate, if we go up to the session, here's our IP, and actually it should be not the HTTP, it should be just the IP address that we want to connect to. There we go. And open that. You'll get a notification that it doesn't know about the server, this host, and just say yes to add it to your loud hosts. And you want to log in as ec 2 dash user. The password will use the authentication key and now we are logged in. Now if I list the directory, okay, there we go. I'm going to make this a little bigger. Okay, so now let's go to var dub 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 and list the directory. And you'll notice this is hardly readable here, so I'm going to go click on the icon here and change settings. And just go to colors and use system colors. Great. Now I can read what I'm looking at. Okay. Now if I go into HTML, there's WordPress. Let's go into WordPress. And basically we want to move these files up a, a level. So you're going to try and move these files to the parent directory. But you get the access denied. And that's because you want to sudo with more permissions. So sudo move to move the files, star all the files, dot dot to the parent folder. And now you can see the files are actually moved. If I go to the parent, now I can sudo and remove that recursively and forcibly that WordPress folder. And now when I go and re reload the page on the IP address, now we can see we're actually at the WordPress location. So let's uh, fill out a title like demo give it a username demo user password green 900 green 900 okay email myself okay allow search engines to index or probably something about the robots text and install wordpress success. It worked. Okay, so we're going to go log in and demo user green 900. Okay, and now we're in the dashboard for WordPress. Now you can go into the plugins folder. 
Okay, and it's already detected. Updates are available. Now, select all the plugins from bulk actions, just say update, apply. Okay, and now you see this. It's like it didn't update, and that's because the user that's the owner of all these WordPress files is defaulted to root, and you want to change that to Apache. So let's see what that looks like. Okay. Basically, you want to run in the var www.html folder. You want to run change owner, recursively change it to Apache, all the files. All right, so when you go try to do the change the owner to Apache, you don't have elevated permissions, so in front of it, just put a sudo change owner dash r capital R for recursive. You want to change the owner to Apache, and you want to do it for all the files within the HTML folder. All right, and now that that's done, when I go back to the web browser, I'll just reload the page. Now we can see that it has updated the plugin and it's ready to go. Okay, great. And now if we go to our page, our main page, we've got the full WordPress blog installed and set up. It's running it on an EC2 instance. All right, I hope this helped walk you through how to install using those templates, setting up your key pairs, using Keygen to create the PPK so that you can SSH into your EC2 instance. And now you can ma go make a WordPress blog using the free hosting on Amazon Web Services. All right, thanks for watching.